In this series, I'm going to show you how you can gain the power of four with Adobe After Effects. So in the previous episode, I showed you how to create the lightning summon effect as you catch Thor's hammer. Now in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create Thor's lightning eyes. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we have our composition. I am going to rename the video file and create a pre-comp and call it Aston's footage. Okay, so with the pen tool, I am now going to create a mask around my face like so. So just draw it around the head. Okay, loosely around the head like so doesn't have to be absolutely accurate, but you just want to make sure that you cover your whole head. Okay. So now that mask has been created, I'm going to go to the tracker here and we're going to go down to face tracking detailed features. Okay. So now it's going to track my face. So if I press the track select mask, okay. And press that play button icon. It's now tracking the details of my face and creating uh, keyframes. So now it's going to track the direction, the movement of my my head. Okay, so my face, my eyes, nose, mouth is going to track it. Okay, so as you can see here, as I catch the hammer, I'm moving. And it still manages to track my face, even as the hammer passes by my face, it still keeps that track. Okay. And it's just going to create a bunch of keyframes to the end of the clip. Okay. Just so it's making sure we've got my entire face tracked like so. Adobe After Effects is very clever. It's a very sophisticated system. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now it's tracked my face, okay. We are going to just take a look, okay. Yep. You can see it's created that mask. So we're going to go to effects and then go to new and then create an adjustment layer here, okay. And with this adjustment layer, what we're going to do is grab that pen tool and then zoom in if i just zoom in to the face you can see those eyes and then create a mask around the pupil okay so it's just all the way around that pupil right now i've created that what we're going to do is grab the anchor point tool and have that selected and then we're just going to make sure that this anchor point, take it from this position here and put it in the center of the pupil of where I've just created that um, mask. So now we've got that anchor point right in the center of the pupil. So with the adjustment layer selected, we're going to right click, go to columns and go to modes. So we can change the blending mode and we're going to go from to, we're going to select add okay so right click and we're going to rename this adjustment layer and we'll call it right inner eye okay so now we have that adjustment layer what we're going to do with that selected press p for position and then it's going to bring up our position and with the right eye selected in our effects, we're going to hold option and click on that position and it will go red. Take the pick whip tool here and then we're going to pair it to our right pupil. So right click, go to effects and go to color correction. And then we're going to go to exposure. Okay. And now we're going to adjust the exposure here to 7.19 and the gamma correction to 4.11 okay now we have this little anchor point here that we're going to select here and we're just going to adjust this white 
circle and just cover that exposed white circle over the pupil is it might be slightly out of shape uh, position so you just make sure that it's in position there okay and as i play it back you can see it's still covering the pupil not perfect but it's it's more or less covering that pupil which is what i want okay so that's great and what we can do is go to the mask and we're going to select feather and then the pixels we're going to type in 12 okay around here now it's a bit softer so in the right inner eye we are going to select the mask and go to mask feather and we'll type in 12 and that feathers out that effect a little bit more in the eye okay so with the mask expansion what we're going to do is change the pixels to just see what the glow effect is that's good i'm going to choose three pixels and that kind of works for that you can see that we've got that glowing effect so now what we're going to do is just, i'm just going to fast forward here and do the exact same procedure on the second eye okay so follow the exact same steps and then click on the right outer eye go to pen tool and then we are going to create a mask around the eye okay so like so so it's like the inner part of the eye okay so just get all the inner parts cover that right to the end okay so now we've created that we go to mask feather type in 15 pixels and press command c to copy and go to the right inner eye copy the exposure command c and then go to the right outer eye and paste those attributes command v so we've got the same exposure on the other eye go to color correction go down to photo filter and then here what we're going to do is we're going to change the filter to cooling filter lbb okay click off the preserve luminosity luminosity should i say okay and the density will change from 25 percent to 100 percent okay like so okay now we're going to go to effects color correction and go down to tint okay now we're going to go on tint go to the amount of tint and make it 50 percent grab the anchor point and now with this anchor point, we're just gonna drag it to the inner part of the eye like so, okay? In this position, okay? And now we're gonna go press P for position to bring that up. Hold Option and click the keyframe. It'll turn red. And now what we wanna do is we wanna pair it to the right eye with the Pick Whip tool here. And we're gonna go down to the right inner eye so it's now paired with that okay and then render that comp and now it's paired okay so there you can see the animation here right so now i'm going to repeat that same process just time lapse in here and we're going to repeat that same process on the other eye okay to create a glow the same kind of glow on the other eye okay so now we're going to do a really important part of this tutorial, which is creating the light glow fall off. So this is just like, so the eye's not just glowing, but it's actually creating some light fall off. So it feels like the lightning from the eyes are like seeping onto the skin and to this kind of area of the cheeks as well. So the light's actually coming from the eyes, it gives it a bit more of a visual effect. Okay. Okay. So now we've completed that. We can see our eyes are glowing. Okay and it is tracked quite nicely okay so we go to the out le left outer eye command d to duplicate that layer and then we're going to go to mask and then go down to mask feather and then we're going to change it from 15 pixels to 40 okay and then we are going to Go to layer, new, 
and go to solid and create a new solid and now what we're going to do is go to the color picker here and select like a baby blue type color like so press ok and then we're going to bring that layer down here just above our comp okay go to the pen tool here and now we're going to create a mask around the eye so if i just use the pen tool to create that but this time we're going to now create a like a mascara type look so it's going to have kind of spikes like this coming down on the cheek so this is where the light fall off will kind of leak through in that solid that we just created so it's a bit zigzags coming up here and then let's join it to the eye at the top okay now here we're gonna unselect the eye so we can see it or select the eye so we can see that right click go to screen okay and then we're gonna press F for mask feather and we're gonna change the pixels here to 45 okay and now you can see we go to effects, blur sharpen, and we're gonna to go to fast box blur, okay? And then go to blur dimensions, and we're gonna select vertical, and we're gonna click on repeat edge pixels like so, and blur radius, we are going to change that here to 58, okay? And now we're going to take the pick whip tool and we're going to pair it to our right outer eye like so okay and we're going to press command d to duplicate that solid layer okay and then we're going to go down to the mask and delete that mask and move the eye tool out deselect the eye tool should i say correct go to the pen tool and then we are gonna do the same on the other side, creating that mask. And it's gonna be the mascara style mask. So we go to the solid and then pair this solid to the left outer eye here, okay. And then just render that, go to the mask, change the blend mode to none so we can now reveal our scene, render it out, and as you can see, we now have our glowing eyes. Check out the next video in the series where I'll show you how to create Thor's lightning body strikes effect, or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis, helping you tell your story through video. Peace.